saw our next guest show on Channel 4, you'll know that this is a magic act quite unlike any other. Viewers of a nervous disposition have been warned. Welcome to the tantalizing world of pen and teller. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to uh, pick someone from the audience because we're doing something rather uh, small here. I want people to be able to see. Uh, yeah, what's your name, please, ma'am? Judy. Judy, come here, please, Judy. Do you know how to use a stopwatch, Judy? No. I'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk you through. It's no big deal. Right up here. And uh, please uh, watch your step here, Judy. There's not a reason on earth for you to own this joint. <laughs> right here, Judy. And uh, this here is a stopwatch. And when you hit this button on the right until it clicks once, these numbers will start going up by themselves. And the numbers, of course, Judy, represent seconds. What I need out of you is a readout every 30 seconds. When it says 30 seconds, you go, 30 seconds! One minute, you go, one minute! One minute, 30, you go, one minute, 30! You'll have no trouble figuring out all the rest of the numbers, okay? I've also got a microphone for you. Don't be afraid of the microphone. Hold it very close to your lips, very loudly and clearly. 30 seconds, one minute, one minute, 30. Because your job is to get your voice louder than my voice inside of my head and that's not easy, okay, Judy? So there you go, you have your stopwatch, you have your microphone, and step right over here in our little timekeeper box. If you step right in here, the cameras will be able to find you in the spotlights and so on, and it, it's just tape on the floor. It is not a trap door, swear to God Almighty. <laughs> and now, the man for whom I'm gonna do this card trick, and I've heard he's a big fan of magic, Richard Wilson should be coming right down here. Richard Wilson. Uh, I've been told you're a big fan of uh, close-up magic. Absolutely. And I'm going to do a card trick for you. But because this is kind of a, uh, a big place, yeah. to give the people up there in the back something to look at while we're doing the card trick, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, bring this over here. And while I'm doing this card trick for you, and everybody kind of watches on, the people in the back can watch because um, my partner, Teller, is going to be holding his breath for the entire card trick. <laughs> God forbid Penn and Teller should ever make an audience uncomfortable. So as you can see, Teller is not holding his breath now. As you can see by the uh, regulator in his mouth and the bubbles coming up, Teller is breathing relatively comfortably through the scuba tank and will not really stop breathing until the card trick proper begins. Now, if you'd be kind enough, Richard, if you just take the uh, lock Teller has there, and feed it through the hasp. Leave him the key, but just take the lock there. And lock him securely in his underwater coffin of certain doom, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, as you can see, Teller is holding the key to this lock, and indeed, quite literally, to his life in his upstretched left hand. And he has sworn on his honor as a gentleman that he will not relinquish that key to the supremely skilled hands find the card selected by Richard. Now, the tank was built specifically for Teller. As you can see, the metal bars come down from the top and stop him from forcing his nose or mouth to the surface to breathe that glorious air that we too often take for granted. <laughs> now, Judy, I've not forgotten you. All you to do is stare right at Teller's lips, and the second that regulator comes out of his mouth, the very instant he can no longer breathe, just punch that right-hand button, the, yeah, the right-hand button right there, until it clicks once, okay? And then you'll start your readouts at 30-second intervals, just keep it going, okay? So watch his mouth right now, it's gonna happen very, very quickly. And Rich, if you'd be kind enough, just grab the hose there, and very gently wrench the regulator out of his lips, would you please? <laughs> go, go, is it going, Judy? Is it going? Is it going, Judy? Good, good, okay. And just, uh, just take that right over there. To, I'm just going to carry this over to uh, our director of covert Hello. activities Hello. here. There you go. He'll, he'll get rid of that. And uh, as soon as Richard is back over here, we will start the card trick. <laughs> now, Richard, a, uh, yes. a lot of times when you see uh, magicians, they'll start 30 with seconds. Nicely done, Judy. <laughs> deck of playing cards. Yes. And the reason for having the deck open is that once the deck is open, then you can gimmick the deck. You can stack them, you can mark them, you can corner short them, and do all the other things uh, Paul Daniels does. But real magicians, <laughs> when they're doing a trick, they start with a sealed deck. Would you examine that sealed deck? Make sure it's a uh, yes. brand new deck there. Sure I make, can I put my oh, Please, please. And uh, just examine that. And once you yeah. have, if you could just open the uh, shrink wrap there, there's a little pull tab on the side. One minute. Uh, Nicely done, Judy. <laughs> And then uh, open the box there, Richard. 
Pull the cards. I'll throw the box yeah. on the floor too. Lose the advertising cards right. and the jokers. Those are just jokers. All right. Okay. There's advertising cards in the back. One minute, thirty seconds. Nicely done, Judy. <laughs> okay. You give the cards a thorough shuffle and take your time shuffling. Less of a shred of decency anywhere in your soul. How you doing, Judy? Okay. Yeah. Everything smoothly. Yes. Everything's yeah. going fine. Good, good, good. You're doing a fine job. Uh, I've not touched the deck before now. It's all been handled by Richard. All shuffled there. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to do anything here. I'm not going to even change the order. I'm just going to fan them out and take any one card. Would you please, Richard? Obviously, don't let me see it. Do not let me see it. Uh, Wait till my back's really turned and then hold the card. Two up minutes. So you can see it. Nicely done, Judy. <laughs> He's showing the card around, tell her. Show the card around there. Once you've, uh, once you've done that, Richard, please take the uh, magic marker and write your name across the face of the card, the side of the card you just showed, the side that is different from all the others, the side with the... Uh, the suit and the value on it. When you've written your name across there, Richard, please put the uh, cap back on the marker so I don't saw my hands. Hand it back to me, please. Yeah. And hold that card up with your name on it. Would you please, Richard? Yeah. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Nicely done, Judy. I'm going to turn back around now, Richard. Please conceal the card from me. And don't, uh, yeah, that's right, don't bend it. If you bend it, it's a little bit too easy to find a new deck. Just place it right there and watch my shuffle carefully. Nothing fishy going on there. And I will shuffle it again. And what are we at right now, Judy? What are we at right this second? Two minutes, 49 seconds. 249, tell her, and we be jamming. <laughs> okay, Richard, here we go. As you know, brand new sealed deck. You shuffled it, you picked the card, you shuffled it in. And Three now, minutes. Nicely done, Judy. Uh, hold your hand out like that, please, Richard. Just, just hold your hand out. Yeah. Richard Wilson, watch this now. R-I-C-H-A-R-D, Wilson. W-I-L-S-O-N. And is that your card, Richard? The two of diamonds? <laughs> no. No, sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, Richard Wilson. <clears throat> this must have miscounted. Three minutes, 30 seconds. Thank you, Judy, thank you. Nicely done. R-I-C-H-A-R-D, Wilson, W-I-L-S-O-N. And is that your card, the jack of diamonds? No, it's not. I don't seem very worried, do I, Richard? Yeah, you don't. Because before the show even started, I put a card in my left-hand suit jacket pocket. This card is uh, sealed in an envelope. It'll be a little more interesting. Would you read what it says in the envelope, please? Yes. Uh, it says, uh, Tuesday, March the 19th, 19... Nice. Nice. Done, six, six, twelve p.m. Which is before the show even started, if you believe what you read. Yeah. What I tell you to, Richard, would like you to do, not before, rip the top off that envelope, pull the card out, verify it is indeed your card, write suit, write value, and has your name on it. When you're sure it's your card, you have the punchline, I don't, very loudly, clearly, yes, Pam, that's my card. Okay, wait till I tell you. What are we at right now, Judy? What are we at? Four minutes, 24 seconds. 424. Okay, Richard, open it up, open it up. Yes, Pam, that's my card. Okay, tell me. 434, we're cool. 24, we're cool. Nice and loudly, please. <laughs> loudly, just yes, Ben, that's my car. No, no, it's not my car. No, seriously, Richard, don't do that. Don't do that. Is it, is it, is it really your card? It's not my car. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it, it really isn't, you're not it's got me. Biff on it or something. I palmed off the wrong card, is what I did. Oh, I've got Five minutes! Thank you! <laughs> Tell her I palmed the wrong card, man. It's a May Day. Come on, brother. Give me, give me, give me the key, man. Give me the key, Tell her. Give me the key! It's a knock. I can't do it. I palmed the wrong... What? Okay, he's right. We made a promise. We're going to stick to it. R I C H A R D W I L S O N. Damn it to hell. Five minutes, okay. 30 seconds. Five thirty? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, <laughs> four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Congratulations, Telly, you've just broken Houdini's record. <laughs> R I C H A R D W I L S O N. Uh, w I L S O N. Okay. Is it, uh, was it a black card or red card? Black or red? Black. Black. Uh, B L A C K. B L A C K. B L A C K. Six minutes! Must be on the floor. See if you can find it there. Must have hit. What are we at? What are we at? What are we at? Judy, what are, what are we at? Six minutes, 30 
13 seconds. 6, 13, let him out. Would you please, Richard, grab the key. Richard, let him out. Grab what? the key, just let him out. Would you please, Richard? Let him out? Yeah, just let him out. Just undo the lock. He'll just bob up to the surface. He's got, uh, he's got plenty of air in his lungs. I can't. Just jiggle the key. It's a copy, Richard. I just, can't. just jiggle it. Six minutes, 30 seconds. I'm jiggling. What are we, what are we I'm jiggling. Six minutes, 34. I'm jiggling, but nothing's yeah. happening. Yeah, screw it, Richard. He's brain dead. <laughs> It should have been a, a nautical lock of some sort. <laughs> it's rusty in there. No, that's just the wrong <laughs> darn key, Richard. Uh, <laughs> Richard, there's a, um, there's a rule Seven in circus. Seven minutes! Thank you. <laughs> there's a rule in circus, so whenever someone's attempting a dangerous stunt, they're responsible for their own rigging. So although the high wire may be set by roustabouts, it's always the walker himself or herself who checks the final turnbuckle. So it was clearly Teller's responsibility to make sure that this was the right key. And I don't think there's a court in the world that could blame you, Richard, even though <laughs> all these people and HRH saw you <laughs> lock him in the tank Seven and take minutes, away his own air supply. Uh, thank you. Well, um, what do I do now? <laughs> March 1996, one man has ushered in the dawning of a new age by being willing to die for a principle he believed in, albeit an insignificant card trick. I would like to dedicate my entire... <laughs> I'd like to dedicate my entire run at Sadler's Wells to be entitled simply, Pam. <laughs> the memory of this great man. Let's gaze once again in the face of the one true hero of our time, ladies and gentlemen, my ex-partner, Teller. And is that your card, Richard? The Ten of Spades, is that your card right there? <laughs> yes, it the is. Ten of Spades, and is that your name on it there, Richard? Yes, it is. Thank you so right. much, Richard. Right. You've right. been great. Right. Right. The whole deal on it, Richard, is it's a sealed deck. There are a lot of people who can do it for Yeah. Thank you. Our next guest has sung at all the leading opera houses of Europe.